The following moles question is about uh, constructing a balanced equation and figuring out the formula of a compound and the question reads that in, in an historically famous experiment, Wohler heated inorganic ammonium cyanate. So, so there was a substance called inorganic ammonium cyanate which is being heated in the absence of air. So he's not doing adding anything. So, so what he's heating is uh, ammonium. Let's write that down. It's ammonium cyanate. And uh, the only product of the reaction was organic urea. So there's only one product that's being formed, which is organic, which is organic urea, which has a formula. It has carbon, one oxygen, and they are, there's NH2 bracket two twice. So uh, this is the only product of the reaction. No other products were formed in the reaction. This is happening. He's heating ammonium cyanate in the absence of air. Nothing is being added. And this is the only product that's being formed formed and we need to figure out what is the formula of the cyanate ion we need to figure out what is this substance over here what is the formula of this cyanate ion now one thing that you can um, uh, the way you're going to uh, solve this question is you're going to try and uh, balance this reaction we know what ammonium is because uh, we are already familiar with what ammonium is ammonium is NH4 plus 1 so ammonium is NH4 plus 1 having a charge of 1 plus. So that is known. Uh, uh, what we can do is we can start balancing this equation. Uh, we can figure out that there is uh, one carbon. There is uh, one oxygen in organic urea. There are two nitrogens. And there are four hydrogens. Now, the same amount of atoms would be on the left hand side as well. Uh, but right now we don't know what this thing over here is. We don't know what cyanate is, but we do know what ammonium is. And there is ammonium present in the, on the left hand side in your reactant. So uh, based on the number of atoms we have, as you can see, we can, we can only uh, construct, there's only, there are only four hydrogens present in the products. So how many ammonium ions can you construct? How many ammonium ions must be present over here? So since there are only four hydrogens, the only possibility is that you can only come up with one ammonium ion uh, using four hydrogens, which basically means uh, if four hydrogens are, are getting used up, they are present in this ammonium, that's balanced. Four hydrogens are balanced. One nitrogen goes into this ammonium, so that's uh, one nitrogen is gone. So you're left, with, you're left with three substances. One is carbon, the other one is oxygen, and the third one is nitrogen. So if from this compound, 1N and 4 hydrogens are present in ammonium, then what is this rest of the stuff? Uh, this would be, you're left with one carbon, one oxygen, and one of the nitrogen. So, so you're left with one carbon, one nitrogen, and one oxygen. So these are the atoms that are missing from, uh, from, the, uh, from your products that are not present in ammonium. So they must be present in this cyanate thing. So it's, it must be CNO. And what should the charge on this uh, compound cyanate would uh, be? It would be, because ammonium is plus one, this cyanate over here must be minus one. Only then would you get a neutral compound. So the answer to this question is going to be A. So look carefully, what I did was I constructed an equation. I knew what ammonium was. I knew what urea was. The number of atoms that were present in urea must be present in this entire substance over here. And we figured out that out of all these substances, uh, one nitrogen, four hydrogens are present in ammonium. So the rest of the substances must be coming from this cyanate thing. So the C, the N, one of the N's and one of the oxygens must be coming from cyanate. And since ammonium has a plus one charge and there's only one ammonium, the cyanate must be having a minus one charge to give a neutral compound. Hence the answer is going to be option A.